Hello again, everybody. Glitch Reaper here. I'm, uh, just wanted to adjust something. There we go. I'm back in the Twilight Forest, and I was going to show off some of the different things that, uh, the other quest would eventually lead to. Uh, some of them were noted a bit better back when, uh, Spike and Diggy were playtesting their own pack. So, therefore, I know what some of them were supposed to be and how things were supposed to branch out. Although, not necessarily absolutely everything. Although, then again, it might have been pretty, pretty close. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think a pack update broke it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but anyhow. Uh, because of this, I'm going to try to get into blood magic today, actually. Which doesn't seem to go with this area too much, be but then again, I'm not going to be able to complete it anytime soon until I can figure out how to properly grow my trees. Uh, maybe I'll just replant. I I I'm going to do that. I, I got to replant the trees. And if if they if they decide to grow, it would be nice. If not, we'll see. But but for some odd reason, these trees are not wanting to grow around here. So I'm I'm just gonna replant that because cause, cause I, I I don't know why I just decided that I'm going to replant these trees because I, maybe they need a reset. Maybe something interrupted their growth. I don't know. But. Maybe eventually I can get a source of witch wood, like I've been wanting. Because how many episodes has it been, and those trees still haven't grown? Oh my gosh. Anyhow, I'm going to try to get into some blood magic. I think I might start out in the open and then move up my setup. Or maybe I'll go to the top. Yeah, I'll go up to my observation area. Uh, maybe I'll grab some other blocks to go there and fill out a platform. I have a lot from Twilight Forest itself. I, I could build it out initially with cobblestone, no big deal. I could make it a little cooler later. Well, actually, that would be pretty cool. Uh, well, some of these I just don't have as much of to be able to really go for it. Uh, oh, maybe I'll swap out my armor again, because I, I, I may actually want to uh, fly up there for convenience. And I can always uh, put back this armor for what I'm going to do, because I'm not entirely sure if it considers armor, I don't, but, but I know that it won't really harm my, uh, tinkered armor because it regenerates, so, yeah. And yeah, there's the looming shadow of something I'll get to eventually in Twilight Forest, just to show what it was supposed to be about. Ah, settling down. But anyhow, what it was originally designed to be, and I'll, uh, put this here, because I don't think I'm going to go up too many tears. But anyhow, what you're supposed to be getting for one of the quests originally was supposed to be a sacrificial knife and a blood altar for blood magic. And there's a few other things you'll probably be wanting to have with that, and I'll show that in a little while. Uh, but the sacrificial knife is some glass, gold ingot, and an iron ingot. Uh, the blood altar itself is a diamond, a couple of gold ingots, some stone, and a furnace. Now, the reason why this is important is how this actually works out. So I'm, I'm going to put this here for now. Uh, don't worry, you, you can be a little distance away for what I'm about to do. And a sacrificial knife. Now, here's where building up against bosses really synergizes with this. Because I've literally had dragons dropping out of the sky on me for quite some time, I've been pick and for that matter, I've been, uh, because my, uh, Wizard Tower in the Overworld is located next to a slime island with King Slimes. I keep getting miniature yellow hearts. Yeah! This is going to be interesting what this does. Because sometimes when you eat these, well, well, all the time when you eat these, you get a boatload of health back. And how you operate blood magic initially is you sacrifice your own health. So, yeah! This is what I'm going to do. I I'm going to, uh, first you have to click to bond it. Now it's bound to me, and we'll start putting uh, blood into the blood altar. Now remember, I have extended health due to mods, or other stuff. Now. Yeah, I just refreshed that instantly. Now, I won't be able to do too terribly much until I do something very specific. So, I'm going to click in a diamond and make sure that this thing is powered up. So. Because the diamond is very important because you get something super important to blood magic. So 
So I'm going to make sure that this thing gets uh, charged up because I need the item that it has. I, 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 like, I really need it to do a lot of stuff with blood magic. So... Give me your sacred orb of, uh, of, of blood powers, please. It can take a while. It has like a transfer thing that it does. So I think it's on this tier. It would be weird if it wasn't. Oh, there it is. I was right. I had I had, I had the right idea. I was, I was gonna say it would be really weird if one of the things you needed early on uh, didn't work out. Uh, this can do a lot of things. Uh, for one thing, whenever I click this, uh, now it's bound to me. Now they, they'll say owner, uh, well this this does, owner Glitch Reaper. Uh, but th there's a lot of things it does. I just put a little bit of energy or life uh, energy into my own network. But to figure out how much I've got in my own network as well as uh, what's inside this blood altar, I will need something very specific. And it takes a little while. I think, uh, well actually I, I, I can hit you on this. The weak blood orb is at the center of crafting uh, with, well, not just it, but other blood orbs as well. With the center of crafting in blood magic. Now, each of these recipes is... Oh, come on, I should have went right to orb crafting. Thank you. Each of these recipes is catalytic. You never use up your orb. And it doesn't even actually use any energy from your network. Basically, you store a little bit of life energy into your network, and you can expend it for various things. But, you don't have to worry about that too much right now. Uh, the orbs are at the center of that, and the better the orb, the more you can stockpile. Some of them have like a limit of like millions. <laughs> so it's just whatever your best orb is, but you never release any of these, like never get rid of them, because every last one uh, can be used in this kind of, uh, kind of recipe. In fact, it's usually semi-tier specific, so it's better to keep all your orbs. Now... There's a lot of things I can do. I, I can make a water sigil. I can make the lava crystal, which is interesting in and of itself. I will need blood runes uh, for improving my setup here, so this is also important. Rune of the orb. Uh, that's a whole other story. Ah, here we go. Divination sigil. What I'm going to be needing is I'm going to need to use my orb. I'm going to have to have this thing called a blank slate. I'm going to have to have some glass. Uh, this is actually quite important. And the thing is, first of all, I'm going to need the blank slate. Oh, well, actually, very first of all, I'm going to need to make sure that I have some glass. Thank you, negation fall damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah, th th this is what happens whenever you're uh, in just the right armor. Do I have... Uh, yeah, I have sand. I have plenty of sand. Uh, so, uh, let me just... Take enough here. Bit of coal. I think that st will stretch pretty far off this furnace. Oh. I was getting some more stone ahead of time. Nice, because I'm going to burn through a lot of it. Uh, do I have enough to... I, I don't think I have enough to convert this to a higher tier furnace. But I, what I will do is, just in case, I'll put that there. And this is faster than a regular furnace, so remember that. And it does all furnace operations, such as, oh, say, smelting uh, sand into glass and cooking your food for you. And just like a regular furnace, only better. So the Crucio furnace will come in very, very handy for this. Uh, I may actually have to throw in more sand. Uh, didn't think that one through entirely. Uh, just a couple of coal, and this thing just goes crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna have enough glass. <laughs> well, now what I should do is uh, get the blank slate, uh, which is also pretty easy, actually. So I'll fly back up here. Uh, does this actually affect her? Uh, yeah, I needed to check that. Uh, four, one, two, six. I'll need to remember that, then I'll, uh, pop in a bit more life energy into the altar. By the way, this little display up here is actually showing kind of a buffer. It actually has a, 
the buffer and then it has its inner storage, but I won't be able to view the full storage until I do something specific. Okay, so that should be pretty full. Okay, I need to use stone for this. I'll need a couple of these. It does take a little while, but with upgrades you can make it faster. And what I mean by upgrades is you can actually uh, take uh, these uh, transmuted slates that you use from, uh, well, using your uh, sacrifice to power it. Uh, okay, it does ignore armor. That 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 that's good because then I can just fly up here whenever I'd like. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it it'll take some of some life energy to get these things powered up, but it acts as a special kind of transmutation type, uh, crafting. Okay, I need a couple of these. Uh, actually, I can make a lot of things here. Hmm. I could do Lava Sigil eventually. But I think the bigger thing will getting will be getting my divination sigil. Wait a moment. Uh nope. Aha, here we go. Orb crafting. Yeah, I get a lot of these w with these. Sigil of holding. Uh that helps you have multiple sigils. Oh yeah, it's just one. But I, I can I'll I'll need more of these over time anyhow, so no be. And I, I do have the ability to replenish myself quite a bit. And over time as I work with more blood magic, I will use a good amount of these yellow hearts. Uh and of course as I just just keep going around, I will definitely fight more bosses just, just randomly. I mean, in, it's long, whenever I'm in the overworld, again, I'm bombarded by dragons. It's actually kind of funny. Like how many of these I've obtained over time. It really is. And because of that, I have the ability to get just boatloads of of, uh, <laughs> of health infused into this thing. So, it, it's kind of ridiculous, because you just replenish so much health whenever you nom on a miniature yellow heart. Okay, let me see here. Current essence, 5,600. Its capacity is 10,000. The tier is 1. And that tier is important. As you build this thing up, it will... Uh, well, actually, you kind of build down and then up, the way it actually works. But anyhow... Uh, the way you build it, uh, the multi-block determines how powerful it is, like what the tier is. Now, my network says I have 200 LP. That's because I have barely used this orb. And there, again, there are some things that will cost you. So, I can actually infuse myself with a tremendous amount of energy by using these miniature yellow hearts and this weak blood orb just in and of itself. But, I need to do better. <laughs> As you can kind of imagine. Now, one thing that I will need to do is, uh, let me see, I believe this is orb crafting. Uh, yeah. I need blood runes uh, over time, and I can do that with a weak one. And this will allow me to tear up my, my, uh, my setup here, which will be nice. Uh, okay, I need, I, th I thought I just needed two of that, right? Yeah, I need two, but that's per rune, so I'll need to keep uh, fueling this thing up. Now, you can actually do it multiple at a time. Uh, it's not really, strictly speaking, necessary. But, I mean, it can happen. I, uh, let's see, what should I put away? Don't need my shuriken immediately, so I should be fine that way. Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine that way. Now, it doesn't take too terribly much to get these uh, done, actually. In fact, you can kind of tell the cost by going over to Altar. And it says that I need 1,000 each, so I can make five more. Do I really have to have an empty hand for that? I 
think I actually have to have an empty hand to retrieve that, which is kind of bad in a way. Although I can just put away my glass for now. And my other stuff, because I, I don't need my glass, and some of the other things won't be really required for a while, so... Oh, I had some glass here. I, I totally missed that, but that's okay. I'll grab more eventually. Uh, I'll need these iron chests for, like, making sure I have an area to work with. Because I kind of made them so that I can eventually put all, all my blood magic stuff up in an area, so it'll probably be up there-ish. But again, or, but it, I, I might change the location. I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking maybe you're doing it way up high, because that way I can also make a complex around it and feed mobs in. Because that would be a good idea, because eventually I will need to do that. I'll, I'll need to sacrifice something other than me for that life energy. So, yeah, okay, so let's say I... Let me see, how many, how many of these will I need? Because I need to create the runes. Okay, blood runes. Uh, let's see, I need eight, so I need 16 blank slates. That's not really that bad, seeing what I've got to work with here. Again, I kind of lucked out with this strategy. So, I will, since I've, I've got two, so I'll need 14 of these done. Okay, I think I can force it in with a shift click. I can't? Huh. I thought you could, like, get the whole thing in. Maybe it's whenever you hopper it. It's gotta be something like that, then. Because I know you can do it that way. I know, I know you can feed more than one thing in. I think you have to hopper it. Uh, I don't need this immediately. I'll need to check with this. Okay, I can do two more as is. Then I'll need to refuel. This this is working out pretty fast, actually, so I'm gonna go with it. But it, it does take a certain amount of transfer time, and as I said, you can't improve that. Like, there's, uh... The way you do this is you make the blocks, and they're referred to as, as, uh, as blood runes, and there's also ones that help you upgrade your altar by giving it various traits, like able to operate a bit faster, or able to u or to get more energy from a particular kind of sacrifice, uh, something like that. So, you can get it to operate in various ways. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, uh, you got you to gotta love this strategy. Thank you, Tinker's Construct. Uh, how much did I get from that? Oh, not really that much. I can infuse it with more then. So I, I need to go a few rounds. But yeah, this is one thing that uh, can be a problem, is if you uh, go too far. So you kinda gotta watch your health. And because of this RPG HUD, it works out pretty well that way. 4,000. I can do four more as is. Uh, won't finish them off immediately, or in one go, but it, it'll be good progress. Oh, that is just so the best blood magic strategy ever. Seriously. Okay, I can possibly... Well, do, uh, is that enough to finish it off? Maybe and then some, actually. I, Which is perfectly fine. 
Because if I have more, then I can do other stuff with it, because uh, as you might have seen in the recipes, there's more than one thing of which you need blank slate, and there's also tiers of these slates. Now, they're only used as crafting ingredients. Like, these cannot be placed in the world or have stuff done with them in any other way. But they are important, and th their tier determines some of the other stuff you can craft with them. So, you do have to uh, watch what it calls them. Now, there's different now, the tiers aren't just like tier 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes like blank slate, reinforced slate. Well, well, I can, I can show in this, actually. But yeah, here's reinforced slate. It goes uh, t to, uh, let me see here. I had reinforced, imbued slate. Imbued slate goes to demonic slate. Demonic goes to Ethereal Slate. And, uh... I believe that's it. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it has a tier system with this, and it, it, it gets pretty far. It goes pretty far. Okay. This should uh, pop up quite a bit. So thank you very much, sir, and soon I'll be able to craft everything I need. <laughs> oh, th this really speeds up blood magic. Of course, it'll be mainly a boost, because I can only do this for every so many bosses I've killed. Or, well, pretty much each. I mean, there's a very few bosses that are incompatible with the whole um, miniature yellow heart thing. But there are some. It, 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 it has to register it right. But for the most part, most bosses in this pack will be registered properly. So, no problems. This will be what I need to create all the runes I need to upgrade this and get one of the other items that I need. I think I can move this perfectly fine in a way. There's one more way to do it. Yeah, this one doesn't have much left in it. So, I could actually even lose a little and put this in a more convenient spot. Or, I can do something special that I've been intending this whole time and probably been wondering about. I've been lugging this around for quite some time. A diamond dolly. Uh, this one has a zombie spawner in it. And you just click on the spawner and you get it. Diamond dollies are like that. Making the diamond dollies aren't really that hard. You need a dolly and three more diamonds to upgrade it. Dolly itself is just five iron ingots and a plank. So it's actually pretty inexpensive when you see what it can do. Normal dollies mainly work on chests, but these can also work on monster spawners, which allows you to move them around. So you can create a central facility for mob farming, and that's basically what I'm intending on doing. And that will help fuel blood magic. And because I can move the spawners, it's all perfectly fine. Ha ha ha. Oh, the, the smack down with that is always good. Okay. Because I need, I need, I'll, I'll go down here. Uh, and I know I can do it from my backpack. I'm just saying that I kind of like it that way. Just to make it a little more uh, proper there. Okay, split this into two, orb time, thank you. Now I have my blood runes. Now, just a quick note, not much in this scans in Thalmcraft, there are, well, that does, but not much else does, so, it, well, well, when it comes to blood magic. Like, this does because it was created from vanilla things in, in a vanilla fashion. These don't scan, even though this does. Let's see how this scans. Nope, it does not scan. <laughs> Will it scan? It's it's the new game in in uh, around here. Uh, I made sure done kind of stuff like that before, but still, whee, it looks like I'm shooting through a wormhole with all this rain perfectly lined up like this. I know optical illusion. Ah, this reminds me. Maybe I should have gotten a Botania er earlier and gotten a Terra Terra Bozo. It, it, it's something that helps reduce rain, if, if, if you want to do that. But anyhow.
Now what you do is you place these around it, like so, and below it in a ring. The one directly below it that is on is not factored in whenever you're increasing the tier of your blood altar. In fact, I should click on this now, and it should say tier 2. Yes, note the capacity is not changed, it's the way it is. That's something you can upgrade with uh, upgrade runes. And they are placed in world around it, just like those. So any rune area can be substituted for, and that's how it works. Now let me see how much life energy is this, because I need to create the Dagger of Sacrifice. Oh, 3,000. I thought it was 2,000 for some reason. I remembered my exact number is wrong. But that's perfectly fine, because again, I, I have the ability to uh, regenerate very quickly. And in fact, this should put in a bit more than I need. Ooh, perfectly down to the last point I could. Uh, that's a level of skill you don't see with this mod very much. Because I have... Okay, that's more than enough. I can now do it. Because I've, I've heard even Wave Time himself has repetitively crushed himself with his own mod. Uh, you really, really don't want to die by doing that. Because there's this thing where... Uh, as part of how it works, you'll always wind up losing your items. Uh, at least that's supposed to be the rule. So, yeah, you don't want to die like that. It's kind of like getting struck by lightning in Minecraft. It's one of those things that when you die that way, it's very dramatic, and it will annihilate your stuff. Of course, there's some other things that will do that pretty quickly, too. Ah, here we go. The Dagger of Sacrifice. This is useful in... Basically, you use this to sacrifice other creatures. Will it scan? No, it won't scan. I was wondering about that. Okay, now what else can I do with this? Because I'm just feeling like going all out. Uh, may even donate a little more life energy to it. And I do have more of these just from uh, in the general area, so I actually have more that I could do with it. Uh, let me see here. Here is the weak blood orb. Okay, I, uh, I don't need to do the alchemical chemistry set. Although it would be nice something to look into, because the alchemy system in this is able to seriously enhance stuff. See, lava crystal. Uh, do, do I need to get up to another tier with other stuff? Because I, I might have to. See, divination, perfect ritual. Oh wait, I can do the Imperfect Ritual Stone now? Huh. That's interesting. Uh, there's actually a couple of very minor rituals you can do in Blood Magic without having greater setups. Let me just go down and check and see if I have four Obsidian. Oh my gosh, I could do this without even getting another slight... <laughs> there is like a, a way of uh, operating. I'll have to look more into that to see about all minor rituals I can do. There's not too terribly many, but one of them is like changing day and the night. So that can come in handy for things that have to be done only at night. There's not much of that in Blood Magic itself. Oh, that's super convenient. But there are in other mods that are in the pack. Like in Witchery, there's several rituals that have to be cast only at night or only during storms and stuff like that. So it can be very specific. I just have to look perfectly straight up with this. This looks like I'm going with warp drive. I don't know. I, I'm just not as upset about rain in Minecraft as most people are, and can actually have a lot of fun with it, especially if I'm fishing. I th okay, I think I know what the problem is. Uh, my mic keeps being drawn closer to me for some weird reason. Don't know why. It's like it's getting tractor beamed. Weird, weird thing. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I, I was gonna <laughs> craft in there, but oh well. I'll use Plan B. Plan B. Plan B is still available. As I said, I could do this. I just liked doing it over there. I do remember I can do this. Ah, uh, just wanted to have one. I could do more with it later, but I just wanted to make sure I could. Ah, uh, in fact, I might actually lug this around with me. You know, I need to make a new backpack. 
I have food. I have, like, fishing and stuff. I think I have enough leather that I've gathered from around here. I need to make a new backpack just for blood magic stuff. Yeah. I'll make it a red one, too. Kind of had that plan for quite some time. I just hadn't done it. But right now, I'm really feeling it. So I'm going to do this thing. Okay, and also, if you don't end up seeing too much rain while I'm doing this, because I'll be mostly indoors. Okay, how much of this do I need to pull this off? I only have so much string. Uh, let me see here. Is it shaped crafting? Not that kind of leather. Ah, uh, bound leather. I don't have the string for this right now. Although I know where I can get a whole lot more. The reason why I need bound leather is if I wanted to make a bigger backpack, then what I do is I smelt this, I get tanned leather. And I use eight of that, and that's how you get a big backpack, which I can dye into a nice red one later. Like, like that. But the thing is, I don't have enough string, because that's seven string per... And it's... I don't have that much in here? I don't even know if I have that much overall, and I've gotten a lot of string over time. I may have to go back to my cotton farm, because that's probably... Well, I have some cotton, but it just probably won't be enough. I just need way more. I need to grow some cotton around here, too. Oh, local farming. It, 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 it's, it's useful, but you got to remember to do it. I just got my witchery garden set up around here. I don't have my... My, my cotton. It's also very. It's also very weird how uh, <laughs> liquid Ethereum actually counts for the purposes of watering a farm. Uh, I mean, it's not technically water, but hey, whatever works. Okay. Um, now let's see. What else can I do in terms of making? See, well, actually, I can tear up now. I, I can actually tear up. Let me, let me see here. Even even when my knee didn't fully work, um, I can still do stuff. Okay, let's see here. If I can make a uh, blank slate, let's see here. Orb crafting. Some of these are stronger, and need to. Because this will show all of them, it'll cycle through. So let me see here. I think the next one... See, we... Not Eldritch, that's special. I think it's the Magician's Blood Orb is next up. No. Wrong one. Ah, uh, darn you. <laughs> Oops. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, let me see here. I need to do that again. Go with orb crafting. Oh wait, was that the chemical chemist? Yeah, changed how it actually looks between them. Yeah, I can get myself a, a brewing stand pretty soon. Pop that in. Where was that? I thought it was in here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so that's first tier only. Okay, so preparing to hit it on, hopefully on magician. Is this one too high tier? Uh. Another one to tell me that it has possibilities. Uh, come on over here. Nope, I need blood orb crafting. Ah, here's the one. Because this is showing more of them. Aha! Block of gold. Wait, that's tier three. I need tier two. Uh, okay, that wasn't right. Uh, 
It's not master. Oh, apprentice. That's the one that's next. It just buzzed by. Ah, an emerald. Okay, I think I've got one around here. And about 5,000 LP. So that should be fine. I can do that. Because if I have one of these, I can use it for higher tier crafting as well. Because I was saying you never throw one away because of tiers. But, I mean, you can usually create lower tiers as well, but just having one around is always nice. Uh, better Void Sigil. Uh, air Sigil. Uh, that one kind of lets you uh, air jump, which is nice. Uh, this is where you get some of the more of the upgrades, like Rune of Sacrifice. Sigil of Fast Miner, you temporarily get a serious haste boost. And that's Rune of Self... Of self Darn Lips. Self uh, ritual stones are necessary for the bigger tier rituals. Sigil of Sight. Perfect. Sigil of the Green Grove. Yeah, that's the one I really would like to be able to have. Well, admittedly, the lava one will come in handy for other stuff too, so maybe. Uh, it requires one of those reinforced slates. Reinforced slates require 2,000. You have to have previous blank slate, so that's 3,000 overall. And of course, I still have these. <laughs> Wait, how many of those do I have in here? Cause that's a good question. Oh, I have three more. Nice. I mean, that, that'll, that, that can work. That, that can work. Uh, whenever I get back to the world, I'm going to be looking for some string. <laughs> Hello, string. Do I got anything? No, I don't have anything. Like, I got this from an Enderman, by the way. It, 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 uh, it's from. Uh, this is from Better Storage. It's an Ender backpack. Sometimes Endermen are wearing these, and an Enderman came around, happened to have been at the wrong place at the wrong time, and I got the backpack. It seems to actually manifest in world whenever you take one down or they drop it, so it doesn't fall like a regular item, which is. Kind of interesting. Uh, okay, now do I want to go right up? I think I can do some stuff in between as well. And build up. Uh, I can do... I can build up more power from my network as well. But I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I can really do on that. Do I have... Oh, wait, that's right. I was going to make sure that... Uh, hmm, I, th I think Sigils of Green Grove can actually affect these, actually. So, let's see here. I think I can make blaze seeds, and I th but I think they're high tier. I'd have to go back to the overworld to get to my stockpile. Yeah, but I could very quickly get to any tier in magical crops that I need. Oh, did I overshoot? Was that seeds? Ah, yeah. Okay, that is an Imperio. Okay, I see. Because I've been wanting to grow these for a while, because be kind of convenient, and I only have four blaze rods, like literally just enough to make this, so if I'm going to make that alchemic chemistry set eventually, and do other stuff that involve brewing stands, I'm going to need to have these seeds. So I'm probably going to do that in between episodes. I th I think that's where I'm kind of am here. I, I, I did some initial tiering for that, and uh, I managed to get myself up to tier 2 very fast. But also, wee! I know, wee! My viewpoint, I just find that very fun. Uh, I do have my divination sigil, but I can make a few others. Uh, let me see, was I able to uh, get lava sigil at this tier? I think I can, yeah. I need six buckets of lava, not bad. Magma cream, lava cream. Oh, yeah, I'm going to need, again, more. Uh, this, this comes down to me needing to obtain more blaze rods, actually. The lava crystal itself is... Eh, getting lava for me is easy, because I, kn I know a way I can get lava now. I can obtain unlimited lava by the power of magical crops. So, I mean, I, I mean you just check this out. A little bit of fire essence around a bucket, get lava! Yay! <laughs> so, therefore, I, I, I'll i be able to do that really easy. I'll just need to do some stuff in the overworld in between, apparently. So, 
Uh, yeah, from what I can see, that's where this is going. I don't have anything else I can do right now at this time. So I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go in between. I'm going to have to go back to the overworld. I'm going to have to uh, prepare myself some crops. Grow a few resources. Well, preferably obtaining some string. Wait a moment. That reminds me. String. Oh, I keep hitting that. Expecting to see something in my inventory. But it's not there this round. Okay. So I'll go down here, actually, and see... I think there's a spider plant I can create. Wrong one. I think there's a spider plant I can create. Um, wait a moment. Do I use the... Okay, I use spider eye... That's an imperio? To get spider essence? I mean spider seeds? Interesting. Uh, <laughs> but anyhow, let me see here. I can spider essence. The spider essence I can use to get eight string at a time. Or spider eyes. Huh. Also works to get Bane of Arthropods as an enchantment. That's nice to know. Alternative for getting extreme, but that's already on. I could also do this. I could make myself some nice spider seeds as well. I have to do some farming in the overworld. That's what I need to do. There, there's, there's no real alternative right now in terms of what I really need to do to get some of this stuff done. I, I need to go back to the overworld and do some farming. Which is good. I mean, I, I do actually enjoy the farming. It's just the fact that I need to go there because that that's where I got my stockpile of stuff and I got my setup for fast growing and all that jazz. I mean, I could do something similar over here. I could build up another location for fast growing everything. But I still need to get my stockpile because I have, like, a boatload of stuff over there. Yeah, I'll be going back. Okay. Anyhow, I, at least now I know what I'm going to do. So, this is Glitch Reaper. I guess I'll be signing off for now, and uh, hope to hear from you all later. So, bye for now, everybody.